I'm Sarah and I won the Bebo competition and I'm here to interview Cheryl Cole. So. Hello. Hello Sarah. Hi. I'm good. I want to say thank you for your video. I was very yeah. impressed. Thank you. Um, so what did you think of all the other videos? I watched them all actually. I had a good giggle to myself. Um, but yeah, no, yours stuck out because I felt like you took some time to think of lyrics and then think of your questions and stuff. So I was impressed. Okay, I'll get on with the questions okay. then. Okay. Um, so, what is your earliest childhood memory? My earliest childhood memory um, is probably be of all the family, all brothers and sisters, because there's five of us. I've got three brothers, one sister, and we used to watch the Chronicles of Narnia. So that is a strong memory of me watching that, maybe around Christmas time. How old are you? God, I must have been, it was before we moved, so I must have been like five, four, five. Um, and what about as a child, did you have any idols? Idols, I get asked this quite often actually, and I wouldn't say I had one person that I particularly idolised. Um, I just loved music and loved theatre and all of that. I didn't really have, no, I wouldn't say I had one person that idolised. Because a lot of people idolise you now, so. <laughs> I think that if, scary. if they're famous when they're older, they'll probably ask you about and get the answer of you, won't they? <laughs> so. Well, as I've gotten older, like, I've realised what that phrase means more, I suppose. Mm. Um, yeah, it's amazing to be thought of like that. So wh when you, where did you grow up? You grew up in New Newcastle. Newcastle. And what was your first house like? My first house was on a row of houses, um, small. You come in the front door, you go up the stairs. There was three bedrooms upstairs. Um, little tiny little bathroom. Uh, bunk beds we had. Do you have share rooms? Yeah, because there was five of us and obviously mum and dad always have to have their own room. Yeah, and the older, um, the oldest get their room because they get they want the privacy a bit more and stuff. So there was always, yeah, four of us kicking about and bunk beds we had. Who did you have to share with? I shared with my little brother my sister and my middle brother. So the older brother had a bedroom. We all had bunk bed, bunk bed, bunk bed, bunk bed. They're crazy, but it's all fun. Yeah. Um, what about sports? Did you play any sports when you were younger? No, I was hopeless. Really? Useless at sport. Um, I hated PE. I used to write myself notes. I probably shouldn't be saying this, but I used to write myself notes from my mum, pretend like I could be excused. So you've got to pe tell people not to do that. Though. Don't do that, that's very bad. <laughs> Do not take my influence. And what's your most embarrassing moment? Oh my God, I, ha I was seeing a boy from London for a little while when I was about 16, 15. Probably the worst age for like embarrassing moments mm -hmm, to happen to you. I took him to the Newcastle train station for him to come back to London and as we were saying bye, I like went to give him a, a kiss goodbye and the door shut on my head. <laughs> nice. It's not yeah, embarrassing at all. Did you get bruised? Or the, the door yeah, I had a bad head, but I didn't care. Me, me confidence was bruised. I was like waving him goodbye, and it, that was his last memory of me. My Aww. head trapped in the door. <laughs> and uh, I can still cringe now thinking about it. Gosh. What about a near death experience? Have you had any? I once nearly choked on some honey in Paris. I saw that an extra fact. Yes, there. and I really thought I was going to die. Like, I thought for those split seconds. I was meant to die in Paris in this chair. This is it. Why did you have to do it? Because you had a sore throat. I had a sore throat and I wasn't feeling very well. And I'd kind of got a bit addicted to eating honey out of a pot. Like it just become a thing to do. And I was, it was sliding down my throat, but it was closing my windpipe. So I was, and nobody, it was like nobody could hear because I couldn't make a noise because I was choking. Were you on your own? No, Nicola, Kimberly, the choreographer, they were all chatting amongst themselves, having a laugh, and I was choking to death. Literally could not. <laughs> get even a little bit of air down my throat so yeah I thought I was going to die then and I once choked on half a hula hoop at school I thought I was a goner because that was hard and I thought I might have died up the mountain when I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro a couple of times I thought oh, I supposed you to got be quite ill didn't you? I got quite ill but there would be times you, you couldn't breathe properly or you're facing a, you know, a, a cliff front and you're thinking if my foot slips here I think a lot yeah. of people admired you for doing that. Scary. Other people. Definitely. Very scary. Um, 
What about presents? You obviously probably get quite a lot of presents. Yeah. What about the best and the worst presents? It's probably quite a hard question. That is it? a hard question. The be- I do. I, um, I haven't really got any that stick out as the best present. I like giving presents. Yeah, I like that. I love that feeling. I love watching people's faces yeah. when they're opening it, when you know something they really want. Yeah. I prefer that. Um, if you could change one thing about yourself, what yes. would it be? Uh, there'd be a few, but I'll just stick to one. Um, to not be so nervous, I'd be a bit more positive. You don't come across as nervous, though. Really? Yeah. If it's a big stage in my life, I do, mm. and I, I and I allow it. I'm a big warrior. So if I could stop worrying so much, I would change that. Yeah. What What would you say has been the most um, nerve-wracking part of your career? It's all in different stages. Been you know nerve-wracking. First tour, first time you do anything's really scary. You know, it's, it's new, isn't it? It's a change and that. So I would say that the Brit Awards is really scary. Um, any first opening night of a tour is scary or when you go back to your hometown. And I would say X Factor has to tip a lot, really. They were so good, though. The the performance. Scary-wise. So. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Probably a lot of people, you had a lot of things riding on it, didn't you? Yeah. Like, a lot of people counting on you to do well. But you yeah. did. You did Thank you. Um, what's the one thing that's guaranteed to make you laugh, no matter what mood you're in? My nieces and nephews. Always guaranteed for a laugh. It's like watching us again when we were kids. Yeah. Yeah, and there's loads of them. Oh. So, yeah. How many are there? Nine now. Really? Mm. Wow. And sometimes I have them all down, so. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. How old are they? What's it's the nice age for the range? first couple of hours. <laughs> um, they range from one newborn, just tiny, tiny really? newborn, two weeks oh. old, three weeks old now, sure, to I've got a niece, 18. That's cool, that's my age. Yeah.